Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Robin the Trader. I'm your host Yasin, and I'm not a financial expert or a licensed professional. If you are thinking about investing in the stock market, please consult one and invest at your own risk. Always remember your money's better off being spent in your normal daily needs or your friends and family. Do not risk it all into the stock market without any of your own uh, research or analysis. Always look into things by yourself, just in case, you know, a lot of these YouTube channels and um, um, traders and all can be very biased. Um, so make sure, you know, you're doing all the research yourself. Um, Anyways, today is uh, Wednesday, January 6th. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, today has been a very, very emotional uh, day for the market, for the country, um, for all of us as a whole. Um, today has been a uh, 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 one of the most more important elections. Um, as you can see here, uh, John Ossoff is giving the L to the Republican Party because get them out of here. No more Senate control. Um, so as you can see, the Senate have won the both seats in Georgia, which gives the Senate uh, majority Democrats, which is great, great, great for a lot of industries. One being, you know, the EV stocks, of course, um, the medical fields and all the uh, pharma um, stocks. But one that we're going to look into, a very good uh, contender um, to be one of those, uh, you know, big, big percentile gainers um, is going to be you know, the weed stocks, the, the the hemp stocks, and, you know, that ganja, that Snoop Dogg stock. And uh, the one I was looking at, the penny stock, of course, because we're here bargainers, is Sundial Growers. And they're trading about 64 cents. And this is a very, I mean, this is a bargain, but it was more of a bargain yesterday. It was more of a bargain a few days ago. I mean, this thing was trading at 45 cents, 47 cents, with a 52-week low at around 13 cents. So, you know it has been uh, it has beat its uh, 52 uh, 52 week low but about four times so it has a lot of room to grow and today it has a about mm, triple times the average volume with a market cap of around 65 million dollars it's a very 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 small um, company at the moment it does have a lot of employees about 1064 their headquarters are in Canada beautiful Canada you know uh, the better uh, United States and one of the reasons why this stock has a lot of room to grow is because of, the, of just the market it's in. It, it's a very competitive market, yet it's a big market and it gives a lot of room for people, you know. Uh, if anybody knows about any weed smokers, if you're a weed smoker yourself, you know, there's a lot of different strands and a lot of different um, types of weed. You know, there's, um, there's edibles, there's rolls. I mean, as you can see here, you know, the, their main role is the distribution of flour, pre-rolls, and vapes. I mean, they're in the market. And they're not gonna leave. You know, one of the one of their big big um, competitors. I mean, to say, you know, the person with a lot of the market cap is Aurora Campus uh, Cannabis. Sorry, and they've grown. Oh, well, not the five years, but they've grown today as you know, at the same rate as Sendile is uh, is growing today, about eighteen percent for the full day, even after hours. Same thing about here, about thirteen percent, twelve. Yeah, about thirteen percent. So they're doing pretty good for themselves. I mean, Aurora is trading at a market cap of about a little under two billion dollars so that gives our little teeny teeny tiny sundial growers a lot of room to grow i mean you know if we're looking at about 10 times 20 times the market cap i mean we're looking at a very very high uh percentile gain and you know we're, we're gonna become millionaires soon you know we just need the right stock so let's look into the sundial uh let's get rid of these tabs uh, let's look into the sundial. You know, they have a, a beautiful website, of course. You know, they got the little uh, three-leaf clover here. And, uh, you know, their main goal is to grow safe and consistent cannabis. And, you know, that's not something that takes light, they don't take lately. Our customers trust us to deliver a variety of high-quality products and to help them make informed decisions. We honor that trust by filing our, filling, sorry, filling our world-class growing facilities with world-class people so you know they care they care and, and and they take the best practice on their insights and analytics their marketing supply chain customer management you know these are um, I mean there's only a few cannabis stocks I mean I think there's about 10 or 20 trading in Robinhood at the moment so there's not too much there's not that much um, competition so you know we're ahead of the curb and uh, one of the other things is um, their experience. You know, they know experience counts, so they have a, a knowledgeable and talented management team, including industry leaders with experience in consumer packaged goods um, from companies like Kellogg's and General Mills, Molson Coors, Canagra Brand, and Mars. I mean, if you know anything about Mars, you know, it's the better Milky Way. Uh, and this approach sets us apart and as we develop our products and our brand. So if anybody knows anything about 
products 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 it's the packaging you know a lot of people when you're going shopping you're not buying because of what you need sometimes you're buying because you like the package you know i like um you know a certain type of shoe not because of the way the shoe looks or the way the shoe f feels it's just the box it comes in you know if it comes in, in a special box might as well just take it you know they also do a lot of research and education you know through our partnerships and marketing efforts, we're learning more about how cannabis can improve health and wellness, and we're passing that information on to consumers. Now, if you want to see some of their partners, which I was very impressed by, these guys have universities. They have two universities here. They even have a whole town of olds. They have another college. So, you know, they're working together with a lot of good people. So now that the Democrats have won the Senate, I mean, yes, this is good for us, but how good could this be? Well, there's a lot of acts that are going to come in to place in, in, in the future. And I mean, we have about two years, and two years should be enough for us to, you know, pass a lot of laws. And once we pass these acts and pass these laws and make it federally legal to, you know, smoke weed, um, transport weed, tax weed, you know, that opens up a big, big market, you know. And if Sundial is who they are they claim to be i mean we're looking at about a 20 dollar, 15 dollar stock in two two years or so maybe even less you know if we're trading at the right rate you know this could an easy thousand dollars put into the stock could make me about a hundred thousand dollars easy you know I'll, I'll i'll show you what i'm going to be doing tomorrow and maybe you can copy it if not whatever you would like to do one of the acts they're gonna they're gonna pass or try to pass is the safe banking act and what does this do is it allows banks and financial institutions to legally do business with cannabis industry without fear of federal arrest or prosecution or other punitive actions so what does this do this just gives a credit line to all the cannabis companies Anybody who wants to open a dispensary can get a loan now. You know, they don't have to be worried. I mean, think about the first company that got a credit line. I mean, now this is literally going to change everything. You know, if a company can only afford about, let's say, $50 million worth of sales, I mean, now if it takes them $50 million to make that sales, now they can borrow a billion dollars. I mean, that just raises their sales up a gajillion percent. What's another thing that we're looking at? I mean, the States Act. For the past few years, that the cannabis industry has primarily pushed for the passage of the States Act, which would recognize states' ability to legalize cannabis at the state level without the risk of federal intervention. A lot of times, these states, you know, Massachusetts, Oregon, uh, Colorado, you know, even though when they pass these laws to legalize weed, they're taking a lot of risk because they can they can stop getting federal funding. And federal funding, as you can see, during this COVID nineteen, is everything. I mean, these nine hundred billion dollar, one trillion dollar, you know, all these money that we're getting, we're not really getting it from the states. We're getting it from the federal government. This is aid that's coming from the federal government itself. So, if the federal government gives the go to the states, I mean, what's next? What is next? I mean, the limit, the moon, the more act. What is the more act? Which would fully remove cannabis from the Controlled Substance Act has been. I mean, and this is great. Now, imagine all of our brothers and sisters that have, you know, smoked the little ganja, you know, hit the little spliz, that little zaza, you know. If they went to jail, now they can come out. You know, it's not a federal crime no more. You're, you're good now. You're good. Hey, buddy, you got weed in the car? Oh, you can leave it there. I just need you with your hands up, you know. So this is great, great, great news, you know. Another thing that happened today, you know, that was good is, you know, something happened with their financial, um, you know, partner or their parent, uh, Zenabis Global, which is a, a perfect name to name a cannabis uh, parent company. Zenabis, you know, it has the word Z and cannabis in it. Um, something happened with where they used to own 51.9 million. They did pay about seven million dollars, uh, Canadian dollars, of course. So this is about one billion dollars. <laughs> no, just kidding. Seven million dollars in Canadian dollars. Um, and I guess something happened where um, Zenabis um, got a default. So I'm saying that, oh, maybe they uh, missed out on some payments or something, but they got that situated. That just boost our stock price up by more than 10%. That's great. Now, this is just another uh, another uh, article that just talks about how you know the president elect uh, Biden. Wants to see, let's look at the January. Let's look at the January January when I mean November. Sorry, when November when we had our great president Biden become president. Look at this gain that we got. You know, coming to the election November third, we knew we had that little hunch. You see, we had that little hunch, and as soon as that weekend, look at that boom. We went from being worth eighteen cents 
to 45 cents. That's a double. We just doubled up our money. You know, you have one dollar in the bank. Now you have two. And the same thing, you know, we had, we went through some problems. We went through some problems. And then as soon as we went back to the same low, to the same low, we, it catalysted up to 80 cents. Now, I don't know what the news was on December 2nd, but the news is not as good as what's happened right now with the sentence. The news is not as good. If this went up 250% from their three months, I mean, we're looking at, I mean, this is, can be the next BNGO. This can be the next, you know, this can be the next, uh, uh, what was it called? Um, uh, X spot, you know, X spot when they got the contract with the um, JFK. This could be, you know, this could be a six dollar stock in no time. You know, if it goes from being worth eighteen cents to being worth eighty cents, I mean, that's a big jump. That's a four times jump. You know, if this is worth sixty four cents, multiply that's a three dollar stock right there. You got you got a three dollar stock. Now, what other things do we have? Well, you know, I pulled up a couple of sales here just to look at this. This this thing has been, uh, you know, written on September seventeenth, twenty twenty. This is before you know this this has been before Biden became president. You know, this has been before the Senate has uh, won all majority of the seats, and they were they were putting the prices up. You know, the marijuana business daily. This is the source. Put the sales up. For 2020 to be 7.5 billion dollars, and this this is before all. Now expect what the 2021 sales are going to be. I mean, expect them. I mean, I'm thinking double, 14, 15 billion dollars. No, imagine that. Imagine. I want to see this this person who wrote this article. I want to see a a revised version with Biden and the Democrat Senate majority. Get McConnell out of my house. The majority. Now, look at 2014 with 0.4 billion. And then look at the difference. This is this is a growing com- uh, industry, and you can see it. You can see it. And this is just, a, this is just an example of a state, you know, Oregon. Oregon is a perfect state to look at. You know, they, they, they've kind of legalized cannabis for a while now. If you ever go down there, you'll see weed is, pff, they give it out for free. You know, $3 pre-rolls, $2 pre-rolls. I mean, I mean, compared to, I mean, I live in Boston. I mean, the payroll prices here are like 15. Now, imagine when the market becomes so competitive and things become so much cheaper. A lot of times people think because things are cheaper, oh, it's bad for the economy. It's bad for this. No, it's good. People can buy more of it. That means things can evolve more. You know, the Model 3 Tesla, because it's cheaper, it made Tesla build more factories, you know, build better batteries. So if the weed is is legal and now it's cheaper, I mean... Less depression, less anxiety. You know, more, more, more students in class because you know now they don't have to worry about having a headache when they go home. They can sleep better. And look at the tax revenue. I mean, on a state rev- received tax, they're taking a fifteen a million dollars, almost sixteen. And then the local is taking about two. Now, if I was a local little tiny town, I'll take my share of two million dollars. Why not? I'll take, and you know what's beautiful about weed, you know, is that the revenue, I mean, the taxes go, 40% of the revenue is going to the schools, I mean, these kids now can have better meals, better, who wants orange juice, I want that Kool-Aid, give me those Capri Suns, give me, get this orange juice out, get these chicken patties out, I want Popeyes, you know, these, these schools can do better now. You know, even their mental health and alcoholism and drug service accounts, 50, you know, they're getting 15% to the state police, 7% to the city's account, and law enforcement, everybody's eating. Every, now, who's going to be mad that the, 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 you know, the federal government is going to legalize weed? Who? This is not heroin. This is, this is good. I mean, people can't, don't die from weed. People just live and be happy and fall asleep. So this is a stock to buy. I would put this at a hundred percent buy. If it goes lower, a buy more. There is nowhere to go down. I mean, if the weed becomes illegal, we're in a national crisis. If the weed does not, I mean, that's it. We're on the path with the shit that you know the Republicans kind of pulled out today with all the mayhem and everything. They need some weed themselves. So let me show you what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Now you can easily go and buy the stock, of course, and I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I will do that. Tomorrow, I'm going to buy 
you know, I'm gonna make my buying power a little bit tomorrow. I got some, uh, I got some calls that are gonna, you know, uh, I mean puts and calls that are gonna expire on the eighth. So, you know, I'm gonna get a lot of more buying power soon, and this is what I'm gonna do tomorrow. You know, what's beautiful about the stock is not only will you be able to own some, but you can make some money on the way. We know the stock is not gonna go below fifty cents. We can probably both, we can all agree on this stock will not go below fifty cents. I mean, when was the last time this stock was around fifty cents? You know, during the, what is that? From August 12th to about November 10th. All right? All right. So, August 12th to November 10th, that's about three months, okay? Three months, this stock was trading at below 50 cents. And that was before the good news, you know? That was when we were thinking that our guy here was going to take over the world. Donald Trump was going to get another fourth term, third term, I mean, second term, another four years. No. So, what we're going to do is, Tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my sell put. Now, when you sell a put, when you sell a put, that means you are agreeing to buying the stock at the strike price, right? During the expiration or before the expiration, I mean, at the expiration, all right? So, because you're doing that, our nice pals here that are selling us this contract or buying, we're buying the contract, we're selling the contract, the person who are buying this from us, they're going to pay us. They're going to say, hey, buddy, you know what? I'll buy that. You know, I'll sell you my stock. I'll, you could buy my stock on, let's say April sixteenth. You know what? Let's say April six. Let's say July. Let's say July sixteenth. Six months from now. That gives us a lot of room to grow, right? I will sell you my stock on July sixteenth. July sixteenth. Let's see. July sixteenth. What's the other one? February. That one hasn't really refreshed. February nineteenth. Uh, let's do. Let's do this one. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do July sixteenth. I will sell you my stock. And then you're going to say, how much are you going to pay me, buddy? And they're going to say, oh, yeah. I'm going to pay you. Uh, the minimum I'll pay you is 25 cents. Uh, maybe I'll pay you 30 cents. Now, you put 30 cents in here. And you put, of course, one. Now, these guys, I mean, I don't know if they're smart. I don't know what kind of weed they're smoking. But they're going to pay us $30. They're going to pay us $30, right? $30 to buy the stock. $30 to buy the stock at 50 cents in six months from now. Six months from now, we can buy the stock at fifty cents if it goes below, of course, or it's at the strike price. And they're gonna pay us thirty dollars. So let's just say we get lucky somehow, and you know the stock doesn't move; it stays at sixty-four cents. And then the day on July sixteenth, I don't know, Biden dies, uh, the other person dies, and I don't know, the aliens take over, and they make weed illegal. You know, then we buy the we buy the stock, and guess how much is gonna cost us? I mean, they paid us thirty, they paid us thirty dollars, and now we, you know, boohoo, we own now, now we own Sundial Growers. We own a hundred shares for about twenty dollars. I mean, do the math on that. That's about forty cents. That's about forty cents. Is that forty cents or four cents? That's about forty cents. Let's do the math. Hold on. Uh, I, Sorry guys, I'm actually pretty bad with easy math. Twenty dollars divided by fifty. Yeah, forty cents. I was right. I was correct. I was correct. You know, math is not my my big subject. You know, ask me about uh, gym class. Forty cents. So when the stock, if the stock price is is at fifty cents, then I mean we're good. We're good. We're good. We're making money. The only time we would lose money is if the stock goes below 22 cents. That's our break even. That's when we lose everything. That's when we lose our 30. Technically, we have to buy it. And we kind of like, you know, lost. But it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my $30, right? Because what I'm doing is I'm just giving them collateral. If it's a dollar in July 16th, I keep my 30 bucks. And I get back my fifty dollars, right? I mean, do the math on that. I mean, the math on that is crazy. Thirty divided by fifty—that's a sixty percent return on your money. Sixty percent. I mean, I, I mean, imagine you can make sixty percent return on your money in six months. In six months, sixty percent. That means if I put 10 grand, if I buy 10 grand worth of, uh, if I sh sell 10 grand worth of puts for the July 16th, I'm making 16 grand right there. I mean, hope to God, of course, everything goes right. And I think it will. 
But I said, I don't have to trade. I keep, and you know what's funny? You give them the 10 grand, or you give them the, you know, the $50, and they give you back $30. So then you go and you buy more, you buy some sundial growers with that. You know, maybe, you know, you know what? Maybe you buy, maybe you buy a, uh, maybe you buy a, um, what is it? You buy a hundred of them, right? For, you know, $64. So you only have to put another 30. And I don't know, maybe sell it for July 16th at $1. Or maybe, and you're making money with them. Like, this is easy. This is easy money we're talking about. And if, you see, if we put review order, the collateral is $50. So we're getting a $30 credit. $30 credit with a collateral of 50 Where does this happen? You know where it does happen? In Gaja Land. That's where this happened. So if you guys were going to get any penny stock, get Sundial Growers. You need this in your portfolio. Get a hundred of it. That's sixty dollars. Listen, get a hundred of it. Sixty. Sell a call. Sell a call for I don't know, maybe February fifth. You know what? Sell a call for a dollar. You'll make eight bucks. That's an eight percent return. That's an eight percent return in less than a month. You know what? Sell it for April sixteenth for a dollar. That's an eighteen. That's an eighteen percent return right there. Easy. I mean, that's and that's. That's right there, you know? You're making $18 and you get to sell it for a dollar. So that's $18 plus 40. What is that? What is that? 58 bucks. You just doubled your freaking, you just doubled your 64 cents like that. Get Sun Dollar Growers. Get Sun Dollar Growers. I will, <laughs> I'm going to get a bunch of this. Uh, I'll try to, you know what my goal is now? To own 10,000, maybe a million of this. You know, why not? I believe in the weed factories and farmers and i believe in the whole weed industry this is a boom industry think of this as the new opioid except it doesn't kill as many people and doesn't get as many people uh you know you know lose their lives anyways i just strongly 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 think that i will buy sun dollar growers i don't know what you guys will be doing of course you know speak to your investors speak to your financial advisors or talk to your mom talk to your dad talk to the bank you know because because you know the weed farmers and the weed companies and these hemp companies are going to talk to the banks once the state act follows it you know so i hope you guys have a great day tomorrow and i hope you guys trade high trade big make a lot of money become millionaires buy everything you can please leave a like subscribe thank you so much for my 28 subscribers i'm so grateful for this i mean this is giving me another thing to do on a daily basis um, i hope to make more videos and I hope to see you guys all glow. Have a good night.